This journey resumes almost a year after it started on footage that had almost been forgotten. We had started this trip with a hike up to the infamous Devil's Bridge, and after waiting almost an hour in line, we finally got pictures. After a bit of vortex yoga, we found ourselves exploring more and checking out more popular places in the Sedona area. Being a four-wheel drive enthusiast, doing Broken Arrow was at the top of my list for this trip. It was an absolute four-wheel drive haven and highly recommend checking it out if you're ever in the area. It was necessary to get in a bit of wine tasting for the wife, so that was quickly arranged in the downtown of Tlacopaki in Sedona. We got in a quick trail ride through the beautiful Cottonwood area and eventually found ourselves in the town of Jerome. The views from Jerome, as well as the food, made for a wonderful afternoon, but soon we made it back to more wine tasting and a bit of shenanigans before we got down to the serious business. The Outlaw Trail starts off the west side of Lloyd Butte Road in western Sedona, winding almost six miles back into the Red Rocks where we found the small hidden site of the Hanonki. I had been out to this area in Sedona several times prior to this, but never made it out to the Hanonki Heritage Site. Lloyd Butte Road is actually one of the few spots where you can disperse camp in the Red Rock area of Sedona. So I, uh, Ashley hates, oh shit, Ashley hates airing down. She thinks it's really stupid and boring. Um, and she doesn't realize it's uh, absolutely essential for these kinds of trails. Um, but she's been at it. I told her I'd help her and she's still at it. She's been doing it for at least five minutes now, um, thinking that I'm doing something else, but she's really just really over contributing to our, uh, adventure today. You having fun? No.
so that's gonna conclude it for the Hanonki trip. Um, Outlaw Trail was fun. Not technical really at all. Uh, no need for armor through there. Lots of razors, one pink Jeep today. Lloyd Butte is not super busy and neither was the Hanonki. If you all enjoyed our little honeymoon seven day vacation in Sedona, um, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate the love. So would Ashley. And uh, hopefully we're gonna bring another video to you immediately next weekend of a, another trip I have planned with myself and Ashley. So uh, until then, thanks guys.